What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing. For today's recipe, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some Rajma Chawal. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe. Alright guys, so the first thing we have to do is we have to boil the Rajma. I know you guys know how to boil Rajma, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But pretty much what I have done is uh, I have gone ahead and uh, let the Rajma soak overnight. And once they are soaked overnight, I've gone ahead and uh, cooked them on uh, in a pressure cooker for about four to five whistles. Um, and what you want to check is when you take your Rajma in your hand and if you smoosh it like that, very, uh, very gently. And if it breaks, then your Rajma is ready. If it's not ready, you can give one more whistle and it should be ready for you. Okay guys, so for the masala for the rajma, what we're going to be doing, it's our one bay leaf. We're going to go ahead and add bay leaf to our ghee. Now a lot of people cook it in tail, but if you're trying to get the, the old back home taste, you have to cook it in ghee. I'm cooking in ghee. So I've taken one bay leaf. I've taken one black cardamom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the cardamom like that with my hands. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw the cardamom in there. I have one stick of clove. And I'm just going to break it up a little bit and just go ahead and add a little bit of clove in there. With that, I'm going to add jeera. Just a little bit of jeera. We're going to let it crackle and once jeera crackles, then we're going to start adding the other stuff to it. Alright guys, so once our jeera crackles, what we're going to do is I have very finely chopped onions in here. Um, I've used the one whole onion, so I'm going to go ahead and add the onions in there. We're going to cook the onions until it's, um, it's halfway cooked. And once it's halfway cooked, we're going to add our ginger garlic paste to it and um, some masalas to it. Alright guys, so our onions are halfway cooked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ample amount of ginger garlic paste. So I'm using... Uh, uh, two big spoon of ginger paste, I mean a uh, garlic paste and one big spoon of ginger paste. Now with that I'm going to add about two chilies finely chopped. And then we're going to go ahead and cook this until the rawness of the ginger garlic paste is gone. Alright guys, so our ginger garlic paste is cooked uh, and so are our onions and chilies. Now at this point I have about two tomatoes that's finely, finely chopped. So we're going to go ahead and add two tomatoes in there. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add salt to taste. Now, when I was making, when I was boiling my rajma, I had added some uh, some salt. So, be careful when you're adding the salt. If you're using salt while you're boiling your rajma, um, then you don't have to add too much salt when you're adding, uh, um, adding your wages in there or when you're doing your masala. So, after adding the salt and adding the tomatoes, we're going to let this cook until the tomatoes become smushy. And then we'll go out and add our spices to it. Alright guys, so our um, tomatoes are, are cooked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go out and start adding spices to it. And it's a very easy recipe. It only takes a few spices in there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of turmeric powder. Now when we make rajma, it's traditionally red. So you want to make sure you don't add too much turmeric powder. Otherwise it will start getting the yellow color. Now with that, we're going to add some dhania powder. Dhania powder is uh, coriander powder. Now, once we add dhania powder and turmeric powder, we're going to use Kashmiri chili. Uh, we're going to get the red color for it. So we're going to go ahead and use about two spoons, two big spoons of Kashmiri chili. And we're going to go ahead and give it a good mix and let, it, let the masala cook for about a few minutes. Alright guys, so our masala is cooked at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of kasuri methi. And uh, after adding the kasuri methi, I'm going to give it a good mix. And giving it after giving a good mix, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my rajma to it. Now at this point, all our masala is done already. And once the kasuri methi is added in there, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start adding our rajma. Now for the rajma, what I like to do is I use the same water that I boiled the rajma in. It actually has a good aroma to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my rajma and the boiled water in there. We're going to give it a good mix. 
and we're gonna make sure that we keep stirring the pot so that where any spices that um, uh, that stuck to the pot, we get all the spices in the rajma. Now, after doing this, we're gonna let this cook for um, on a medium to low heat for about five minutes. Let it get like one or two boils, and our food is gonna be ready. All right, guys. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of garam masala to it. Now the reason why we always add garam masala in the end, it's because uh, if you add garam masala in the beginning when you're cooking your spices, your spices would turn dark. Um, garam masala usually tends to turn dark when you add it in the beginning. Now once we add garam masala, we're going to go ahead and give it just a quick stir. And after stirring the pot, what I'm going to do is... Um, to get the creaminess and get the richness of it, I'm going to go ahead and add some fresh cream to it. Um, this is something they do in the restaurant and in the daba. When it's made at home, it, they don't do it. So if you want to have that daba style taste, um, this is what you want to do. So go ahead and add just a little bit of cream. Give it a good stir and your food is ready. Alright guys, so as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. If you want to know how to make jiro rice, please check out my uh, video from earlier uh, Earlier last year. I made a video for dal tadka and jiro rice. Um, you should be able to check that video out to learn how to make jiro rice. Um, also, I'll add the link in the description below. So check out the video if you want to learn how to make jiro rice. Until then, the food is ready. Not waiting on you. I'll see you soon. Thank you.